Welcome to another rugby video on the channel. My name is Andrew. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to help show your support. Click that notification button to be notified whenever I upload and like the video as well to help the channel grow. And don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram if you're interested. Also, don't forget to comment and let me know your opinions at the end of the video. Okay, so welcome back to part two of my Rugby World Cup 2019 predictions. Today we are going to be looking at what will happen to the top two teams of each individual group. So let's see who will be playing who and what will happen. Okay, so here are the teams that reach the knockout stages. We have Ireland, Scotland, South Africa, New Zealand, England, Argentina, Wales and Australia. So this is what will happen moving into quarterfinal number one. So going by my predictions, quarterfinal number one then will work out to England versus Australia. This I think will be a massive, massive game and I think it will be end-to-end -end rugby played. I'm going to say the point margin between the two sides is going to be quite close, but there will be a lot of tries scored. So the outcome of this game, I think, is going to be an England win. To be honest, I can't really see Australia doing great this World Cup because they've been underperforming lately. But hey, all teams go through a rough patch and maybe it's just not going to be Australia's year. So moving into quarterfinal number two then, we will have South Africa versus Scotland. I think this will be a very slow and more defending sort of game, if that makes sense. With very few points scored and I would say probably no tries. As both teams defence is really good and the scrummaging is also good as well. So who do I think is going to win this? I would say South Africa. To be honest I'm backing South Africa all the way to the final in this coming World Cup. I really think they're going to be a massive underdog and they're really going to surprise everybody. So for Scotland playing South Africa, unfortunately for the Scots I can't see them beating them in a World Cup. And I think they're going to be probably losing out on penalties if this does work out. So next up then we will have in quarterfinal number 3, Wales versus Argentina. Going by last year's summer tour with Wales, they toured Argentina obviously. And there wasn't much of a struggle in the games. With Wales also performing really well in their autumn series. As I said, this is done before the Six Nations so we can't look into too much of the games. But I am going to say a Wales win with a few tries coming into the score deficit. So in our final quarter final then we will have Ireland versus the All Blacks. And now I know some of you are going to really really want to see this game going by the last result of Ireland versus New Zealand. But will Ireland be able to do this in a World Cup? That's the thing I really debated on when I was picking this outcome. And going by the previous World Cups Ireland haven't done too great, obviously losing out to Argentina in the last one. So will they be able to beat the current world champions in a quarter final? And that is what I took into account when picking this result. So in my prediction between Ireland versus New Zealand, I think New Zealand will win. Just really because New Zealand being the team that they are, they never seem to really flop much when it comes to World Cups. And even though they're going through a slightly rough spell at the moment, seem to be underperforming, I can't see them messing up in a quarter final in the Rugby World Cup even though it is to the likes of Ireland. Love me or hate me for this prediction, it's just an opinion, and I'm afraid Ireland are out. So going into a semi-final then, we will have semi-final one, which will be England versus South Africa. This will be a very, very close game in my opinion, and I think it's gonna come down to penalties conceded. I think England will start off the better team, and then as the game goes on, South Africa will close the lead down and I think it will be won by about 6 points towards the end. And this will be my prediction for this game with England losing out to South Africa and South Africa progressing with England going to the 3rd place playoff. Moving into our other semi-final then we will have Wales vs the mighty All Blacks. Now this is the game I really think Wales will really struggle with. Again, because they are New Zealand and they don't seem to flop much when it comes to World Cups. So I'm going to say the All Blacks will win and beat Wales probably around the 10 to 15 point mark. 
If Wales stayed within five points throughout the whole game, I'd say they'd be in with a chance, but I can't see that happening at the moment. So because of these predictions then, that will mean Wales will play England in the bronze final. I know not many people like watching this game because it doesn't really mean much, but at the end of the day it does, you're still winning something, and it's still competitive rugby. So my prediction for this game is I think it'll be close, but it'll also rely on the Six Nations result. I would say that'll come into a massive account, and we'd all expect a very, very similar game to that one. So the outcome and result of this game is I think England will beat Wales. I think the game versus the All Blacks Wales would have struggled with and I can't see them offering too much when it comes to this game. I think some players will be rested uh, as many people count this game as nothing and yeah I just can't see them living up to the potential that they did have and I think they will lose out. So for our Rugby World Cup final we will have South Africa versus the All Blacks. The two teams originally from Group B. I think this will be a very very close match with so many points scored and penalties conceded. I think we could all expect end-to-end -end rugby with at least three tries scored apiece. And overall, it'll be a spectacular finale to the 2019 World Cup. But who will win between these two teams? Going by previous campaign form with the Rugby World Cups, that is what I will take into it when it comes to this decision. Um, so I am gonna go for the All Blacks mainly because they just seem to really perform just like I did with Ireland and Wales I can't really see many people toppling them yes I picked South Africa to topple New Zealand at the start I think New Zealand will get off to a bad start but then start performing and start reaching their potential this meaning that New Zealand will be the 2019 Japan Rugby World Cup champions so let's take a look back at what happened England beat Australia in quarter-final number one. Quarter-final number two, we had South Africa play Scotland and South Africa being victorious. Quarter-final number three, we had Wales versus Argentina and Wales won. Quarter-final number four, we had Ireland play the All Blacks and the All Blacks progressing. Then in reaching semi-final number one, we had England play South Africa, which South Africa then progressed to the final. Semi-final number two, we had Wales versus New Zealand and New Zealand beating Wales convincingly, progressed to the final. We had the bronze final, Wales versus England, with England being victorious over Wales, with all their flow lost. And then finally, in our final, we had South Africa versus New Zealand in a spectacular game with loads of tries scored, and New Zealand eventually reaching the win. What do you think of my predictions? Let me know in the comments, it's great hearing from all of you to be honest. And also don't forget to subscribe and help show your support to the channel. Make sure you click the notification button as well so you get notified whenever I upload videos. I'm really enjoying doing all these rugby videos and I hope you're enjoying watching them. It's great to finally let my opinion be known again for rugby as I have done rugby videos in the past on another channel. Make sure you check out some of my other videos as well on the channel. And I've been Andrew, I will see you in another video.